If you've spent any time in Colorado or you're just a buff of American history, you've probably heard of the 10th Mountain Division. US troops trained specifically in high alpine warfare. They liberated Italy from the Germans in World War II. Now some 55 years later, we here in Toyad, Colorado are lucky enough to have some of the original 10th Mountain Division troops here for the 4th of July weekend. Tonight's event is a fundraiser for Mountain Film where filmmakers, local Telluride filmmakers in fact, Beth and George Gage are presenting their film Fire on the Mountain made back in 1995 showcasing the 10th Mountain Division where they started, they trained, they conquered and where they've been since. This weekend's been fabulous. I mean to to reconnect with the guys, spend time with them. We've had barbecues, we've gone trout fishing, they've been to my, our house, and it's just, you know, they're 88, 89, 90 years old, and they still have the same vitality that they had when we interviewed them originally 14 years ago. I was very fortunate. I trained with the 10th Mountain Division with a wonderful bunch of guys, got to know them quite well, was with the 10th Mountain about a year and a half. We're more famous at the ski resorts, I think, than anywhere else, and I think uh, Telluride knows this. I was all through the combat end of it, and I was fortunate enough uh, to wind up with a title as the unofficial combat artist. Not my job. My real job was uh, I was a sergeant in charge of a machine gun squad. And so whenever I had a moment, I would draw, sketch on anything I could get a hold of. Well, our main objective over there was to crack what they call the Gothic line. It had been tried to be taken several times, and uh, so we were fresh troops, and they thought, well, we could do it, which we did. River Ridge and Mount Belvedere were the key points. Uh, my platoon sergeant, Sergeant Fisher, had been riddled through the chest with machine gun bullets. And as I was holding him, he was saying, please not now, God, please not now. And I got a little angry and found out where the German positions were from a machine gunner and then initiated an attack, was able to take two different machine gun positions from the Germans uh, on Gorgolesco. In fact, I was the first 10th Mountain Division soldier on the top of Gorgolesco and was able to help take that peak. I was decorated with the Silver Star on Mount Gorgolesco and I did receive the Purple Heart on the April 14th attack out of Castel Diano. This weekend in Telluride I've been spending more time than I ever have in my whole life with World War II veterans and for the first time I've been accepted amongst them, which has been an extremely honoring and humbling experience for me. Skiing is so important to so many of us, and these guys were really at its foundation. And I love that it came out of something totally different. Let's go attack the Germans and the Italians. Let's figure this out. And they said, oh, this is fun. And, and the movie really explores that, this mix of camaraderie and this mix of visionaries and this mix of of really brave men who said, yeah, look, you know, this is something we have to go do. But out of that, this horrible war, comes powder skiing? Come on, how good is that? They were really the pioneers of the ski movement. These guys were at ski schools, they were running ski operations, they were head of ski areas. Most of the men in my division, when they came to my unit, the 10th Mountain Division, they weren't so excited because a lot of them didn't enjoy the cold and a lot of them didn't enjoy being uh, up near the Canadian border where there wasn't a lot going on. As they learned more about the unit and uh, as I was able to show them uh, films like Fire on the Mountain and then we, we spent a lot of time reading books about 10th Mountain Division, they had a sense of a esprit de corps and we're certainly proud to, to now be a part of a unit that's like this unit and realize that wearing the mountain tab over their patch is an extremely uh, elite tab to have and as a result, it's a special honor that these, these soldiers carry with them into combat. I think that a town like Telluride appreciates the 10th Mountain Division as much or more than any other town anywhere would because it means so much to the veterans. It means so much to them to be appreciated the way they were in the parade, the way they are tonight. The film hasn't even started yet. I expect an ovation when they take the stage like you can't believe. It was really unbelievable. I just, 
I didn't know what to make of it. I mean, people rushing up and grabbing my hand and saying thank you. I don't think I've ever witnessed that. Telluride was very special. Very special. I marched alongside the fire engine and just had a great time. And it was a wonderful parade and a beautiful day. The struggles that they have in combat are very similar to the struggles we have in combat now. Um, it's a different enemy and a different war, but all in all, when it comes down to the American fighter, it's still the same sort of warrior spirit. In Colorado, we do love the ski industry and these beautiful rugged mountains we live in. So next time you're taking a hike or riding a chairlift, give thought to those 10th Mountain Division soldiers that gave us what we're enjoying today. You know, it's nice being American. Mille grazie per tutti. Thank you for everything.